Good morning, it's Dr. Sarah at Cloud Peak Chiropractic and Wellness, except I'm in my kitchen today. Um, I had a question. I've been doing Instagram stories all month on what I'm eating to share um, how we manage as a family to eat gluten-free and dairy-free for the most part. And somebody asked me a great question about how to feed toddlers and picky kids. And so my kids are nine and 12. So we've come a long way with our stages of eating, <laughs> but I do remember what it was like in those early days. And so I wanted to just share a few of my favorite tips. So I'm going to flip this around and show you what I've got going on down here. Okay. One of my favorite kid things is what we call a snack plate. <laughs> and what that means is it's a plate full of random stuff. This is not complicated, but what I've found is with my kids, if I just make a plate with an assortment of healthy things, um, it doesn't really matter to me what, which one of the things that they eat because all of the options that I'm giving them are healthy stuff. Um, this I pulled out too is a little mini muffin pan. When my kids were really little, muff muffin pans were a favorite. We would do you know something different in each one. Again, if they're all healthy options, it doesn't you know matter what they eat. One little tip with toddlers um, is think about what they eat in a week is when we're thinking about variety versus what they're eating in a day because you might have a day where your kid is eating nothing but pretzels, for instance, and then the next day they eat nothing but oranges. Um, it, it Toddlers are kind of all over the place. I'll flip this back around here. Um, so the, my favorite advice with kids and feeding kids is just as parents, remember that you are in control of what you are presenting to them. You are in control of what you're buying at the grocery store. Um, unless they go with their grandparents who buy them anything that they want. <laughs> um, but for the most part, it's up to you what you bring into your house. And then my other favorite tip is just keep offering. You never know when a kid is actually going to you know, like something, even if they've tried it eight times before and they didn't like it. You just keep offering. I think there's actually, I should have looked up the statistic, but I think it actually often takes toddlers like eight times to, of being exposed to something before they, they often like it. So just keep offering. Um, again, with those snack plates or muffin tins, I just make sure there's healthy stuff, as many fruits and vegetables as possible. Um, and remember that kids are watching what you're eating. That's the big thing too. So, you know, often whatever your family diet is, is what your children are going to start eating. So that, you know, it, it makes a difference when you make the effort to eat more fruits and vegetables and make sure that you're, you're having enough protein in your meals, fruits and vegetables and protein. My kids will tell you is what I, I hammer on. <laughs> That's what we try to get as much of as possible. A lot of people don't realize you're supposed to have five to nine servings of fruits and vegetables a day. That's a lot. I don't know many people who get that much, sadly. So that's something we all can strive for. And then behind me, I just realized I have one of my favorite tips for fruits and vegetables back here. This we carry at the office is fruits and greens powder. And you make this into a yummy drink. It's a powder that you just put one scoop into eight ounces of liquid. This blackberry tangerine is my kid's current favorite. And we just mix it with water. Um, we also have a chocolate one that they really love mixed with almond milk that tastes like chocolate milk. So. I hope those helped. Please drop any questions that you might have about feeding kids in the comments. Have a great day.